Okay guys, uh, this is the fundamentals of compositing and I'm going to create a playlist for where you can find all the videos that I'm creating uh, so, you can is so that you can easily follow step by step. So let's have set up our scene and uh, and I'm changing the project file here because uh, the, the other one was crashing a bit. So I'm not sure why, I think it was a bug, but uh, let's continue with this. So let's go to compositing and set up the project file. Uh, I'm going to have my viewer node here and uh, my 3D workspace here and this is going to be our uh, nodes so let's start uh, by setting up everything so you can go to use node after uh, so that we can start using the nodes and uh, let's add our viewer node shift a output viewer uh, so that we can see everything and uh, let's start by si using cycles because what we need is uh, to first create a crypto mat uh, file uh, where we can easily select uh, all the objects so a crypto mat file is just a, an image file uh, that uh, is nearly as similar as uh, going to let's say yeah, turning on random colors for these materials are uh, for these objects so that each object is a give is given a different color and uh, that way you can just sample that color to select it as a mask so to set that up you just go into cycles because if it doesn't uh, render crypto mat so you go to ev you go to cycles and then let's find crypto mat you can see uh, there are three types of crypto mats so you can select uh, to create an image file containing different colors for each object like you see here and then there is a material this will export an image file that contains each material you see here so uh, this wall is a different material this is a different material this is a different material uh, this is a different material so each of the materials will have a different color from the other so that if you want to select objects of different materials uh, you can select them uh, like that uh, then from that we have assets uh, what this does is that uh, it just selects each object that is grouped or parented to another it will give them the same color uh, but uh, i don't think i'm going to use that uh, so let's just uh, if you want to just preview this or work with this within the render all you have to do is add if you hit f3 will give you the search button so that if you don't know where to locate uh, this in the, the add menu you can just hit f3 and uh, find that crypto mat that's it and then all you have to do is match these uh, to the different inputs here so uh, so we can bring in the image and then crypto 00, zero so match crypto 00, zero. Uh, crypto 01 and crypto 02 you can see now we don't have uh, these the second inputs are for this here so what, what you have to do is just duplicate this and uh, do the same thing uh, remember to input the image of like that and then if you add in this the third one we just do the same uh, for that but uh, we're not going to need that so and that I'm not going to add uh, that so you don't have to render at uh, a lot of high samples to get a good crypto mat because uh, I think uh, this was taking a lot of time to render out but uh, all you have to do is uh, just change this uh, you can change the render samples at uh, about one sample here and uh, that should render out uh, the crypto mat very fast for you go to render image now it should be a bit faster uh, than just rendering everything at uh, all the full samples you can see this is going to be grainy the final image is going to be grainy but uh, the crypto map is just good it's going to be okay because uh, it doesn't require a lot of samples to render out and uh, if you want even to make this much faster you can re increase uh, the tile size uh, so that you don't have that many uh, tiles uh, to render the image itself is not going to be usable but that's not what we want just want the crypto map so, so now to preview the crypto map we just have to go at viewer and now select the other viewer node from this drop down menu just go to type in viewer so that we can preview the viewer node uh, so this is the image Control shift click on the mat we haven't selected anything so we can't preview the mat so if we select a uh, peak I'm just going to remove the background because it's distracting you can see everything here you can see what we have rendered though our final image was rendered with one sample uh, the crypto mat looks clean because it doesn't require samples uh, to be calculated and uh, we can also preview uh, this here and see that uh, this is the material and uh, each material is given a separate color like uh, in the object here each object is given a separate color so to make our lives easier instead of saving these as jpegs what we can do is a uh, file output node like this just connect this node in 
and that that will make sure that when you're rendering this everything is saved uh, automatically and uh, then we can go to the this node settings and add a new input uh, what we want to do is save as open XL XR multiple layer uh, what this does is that uh, instead of having because uh, if say we want to import we want to use the crypto map images we use and import uh, image you'd have to import one image at a time so you'd have you end up with a lot of these nodes like this but uh, with the op with the multiple layer uh, exr format you would these will all be compiled in one node so let's uh, do that so let's another let's add another select the file output and add another output or input now you can name this as you want so i'll call this crypto and uh, this second one I remember we want to export the peak, not the image or mat. This is how the image looks. That's not what we want. And this is how the mat looks. That's not what we want. I want uh, the the crypto mat. So uh, we can call this crypto crypto mat mat for material. I'm just going to export out uh, the mist, and uh, that's that will be all uh, that uh, we export out in the cycle. So now. You can go back and render again, but uh, to make things faster, I'm going to reduce uh, the tile samples to something large, so something like uh, 500, 512 by 512. That will make things faster. Okay, so we're done with the rendering. Uh, so let's uh, preview everything and see how I've gone. So this is uh, the mist. I think uh, for the mist, we're going to export it using uh, EV because uh, I don't like how it's adding a lot of uh, grain here. I've exported the crypto mat. If you go to inputs, you can now open uh, the EXR format that I exported. Uh, so I exported these to the temp folder. So I'm just going to get them. If I open this, now you can see that uh, we have uh, the crypto mat, uh, the object. This is what I was talking about. Instead of if you export a multi layer EXR file, all the images will be added to yeah, one output node like this. And this is our mist. I don't like how the mist has rendered, uh, especially in areas where you see glass. So we're going to export this uh, through EV because uh, I think it gives you better results. So now that we have our crypto mat, we don't need this anymore. Now we can get rid of this for now. And uh, just to show you how crypto mat works, uh, we can add in. Uh, actually, just yes, we needed uh, the, pre the other nodes, so I'll just bring them back. We can add our uh, image and then our crypto mat for the material and crypto for the yeah for the object. So if we preview this, actually we just we need one. Uh, we can just sample what we want, and if we look at the mat, you can see we get a mask of what we have selected. Now uh, if we try to pick again. Just get rid of this selection and pick, say, these cushions. And if we go to the mat, you can see we get a mat. And uh, uh, if we add alpha convert, the alpha convert node, and add the image there, you can see what we get. And uh, since our output image uh, was green, this is what we get because uh, the output was also grainy. So let's switch to EV and get a cleaner render from this. So I'll go to EV and hit render. Uh, this time I'll first, first get rid of these outputs. Actually, we might retain, I make sure that if you're exporting this EV, I make sure you don't have any connection to the crypto man because it will just replace uh, these images we have. Uh, except uh, for the mist, we can leave it there because we want to replace uh, whatever we had, which was uh, so grainy. Again, I want to make sure that I'm exporting the same file. Now, I can hit export. And just to make sure that uh, I don't replace this one, I'm just going to add. And uh, actually, what we can do is uh, export all the other outputs we want. So we can go to the viewer layer. I want to export the mist. We want to export all these 
nodes here and uh, since if it doesn't take that much time to export we can check as many as we want and uh, just use what we just uh, ignore what we don't want to use so i'm also going to check the environment uh, shadow I mean occlusion uh, those are what you can export in eevee and uh, you can also export the bloom if you activate it here so we can go back to the viewer layer let's make sure that everything is activated that needs to be activated uh, let's see go back to the viewer layer so that we can export the bloom as well and uh, now we can render this uh, but before we render we need to make sure that these inputs are given their corresponding outputs and uh, so let's uh, go into so we want the ambient occlusion so let's first add all the inputs uh, you can add uh, the shadow ambient occlusion all these nodes have to be connected or they will not be output uh, so to make things easier we have to rename them here otherwise they're going to appear as image one image two image three like that so now with Eevee, you can also reduce the samples to one just to get an idea of to make sure that everything is exporting right before you commit to a, a higher large sample and uh, then you can test out everything so i've reduced the sample to one so that i can make sure that uh, everything has been exported uh, correctly so we can go now to input and i changed i added an image output for the file input so that i can also export uh, the image as well so that i only have to deal with one uh, exr file so if i go to import image and uh, open uh, the image i exported this is it here you can see all the inputs that we exported so now if we preview one by one you can see we have the environment here let's first get rid of that ambient occlusion i reduced the samples to one that's why you see it's very grainy and for the final image i'm going to increase the samples to trade off i have the diffuse direct light reflections volume transmission but we don't have any volume objects of the bloom and then uh, the final image and then uh, we have the z depth and then finally are uh, the shadows uh, so the shadows require a little bit more samples than we added uh, so one sample is not enough so let's uh, render out the final image at 34 samples uh, so that uh, we get something that uh, looks uh, my smooth so i'm just going to re-render this okay so we're done here uh, so we can preview all these i'm just going to reload this have the environment i mean occlusion which is clear now uh, diffuse light diffuse color uh, this is specular uh, specular color then we have volumetric and the bloom the image mist and shadow in the next video we'll see how to utilize these and utilize crypto map to mask out different objects thank you